Good morning. Oh my God, we're starting out with like an almost drained uh, camera battery. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I am starting out, I am very frenzied this morning. I'm trying to fit everything in. I probably did a bad planning, bad schedule planning on my part. Um, but I'm going to see a client really fast at 12 and then I have a rehearsal, a dress rehearsal. I have to be there at 150 and somewhere in between like 12 and 150 I have to figure out like snacks and eating. So I just took Clover to the park. Here he is. He could have been there for longer, but of course I had to go. So I'm going to take him to daycare. Well, I'm very excited that I got my boots back from the repair place this morning and they did an awesome job. The heel was like really pathetic and, and done and like done in, but he replaced both the heel and the sole. So Annie actually shortened these a little bit for me because they were kind of a little bit long, but look, it's almost like brand new boots. So I'm very happy and I can't wait to wear these again. And I have another pair in there too that the zippers were broken, but um, he repaired them and I also fixed the sole and this heel in that one too. All right, so I put in a fresh battery. Hopefully we're gonna be okay. The house is a disaster. Well, not like so much a disaster, but the floors are definitely like paw print central. Like, and the sunshine comes in and you can see like all the dust all over the floor. I mean, it's not really that bad, but it's bad to me. Anyway, uh, I gotta clean this up later. Are you ready to go and hang out with some friends? Don't look so excited. discussing her space planning because she's moving from one unit to another. So I saw her for an hour, helped uh, set up her new kitchen a little bit, which is gonna be super cute. Just like the old one, but a little neater this time. And uh, I know you guys wanna see more of that stuff. Um, I will try to get more filmage in at work. Sometimes um, it's just a little too crazy and I was just there for an hour and gone. So um, we have a dress rehearsal here at, starting at two o'clock. Um, so I'm just gonna have my snacks and uh, then I'll take you inside so you can see the hall some more. giving Clover a bath because he got really dirty at the park. Um, he had fun though. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Clean Man? Hey, will you pose for the people? Hey, Clover. 
Look how clean you are. He's very clean. I've pretty much avoided giving him a bath for like weeks now um, because I, I hate it. Um, I think next month I'm going to take him to the groomer. I just, it's a lot. <laughs> um, so I got to clean up around here. I'm going to vacuum and then I'm going to start the mop again. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to get the house clean. Um, and I'm just overwhelmed by the, the fewest amount, the few amount of hours in the day. It's already almost one o'clock and I feel like I have done nothing. Um, so let's clean up and then have some lunch and then I'll talk to you guys about a few things. Is it itchy? Is it itchy? Are you itchy? How you doing? Okay. I got a vacuum. You wanna help me? You wanna help? today and I just want to talk to you guys really quickly about what is happening to the channel so um, by the time that you see this you'll probably notice that the channel name has changed for uh, the second time <laughs> first it was um, happening organizing then it was happening at home and now um, I am officially changing the name of the channel and also rebranding my business to the organized soprano so I just quickly want to talk to you guys about why I have rebranded the channel for the second time and um, my reasons behind it. So back in uh, 2013, when I first started my business, I was vacillating between two names, Hubney Organizing and The Organized Soprano. I don't know why I went with Hubney Organizing. Um, and for those of you who don't really know, and, and this is another reason why I'm changing the name of the channel and my business is because um, Hub is um, a sort of a nickname that Boston likes to call itself. It's the Hub. I thought it would be, you know, really cute and fun to call myself Hub Neat Organizing. Um, but a, I, it was a re, I was very torn between um, the Organized Soprano and Hub Neat Organizing. And ultimately, I did choose Hub Neat. Um, and have loved that name for, gosh, years and years and years. My business is now um, four, five years old, five years old, and it's been really great, and I love it. However, I've always felt that I'm leaving part of myself out of my business. You know, I'm um, when I turn up at people's houses and or when I turn up here, I'm just this organizer, and. I'm passionate about it. I love organizing. I think it's so fun. I love all the home stuff. I'm like so addicted to home stuff. But this other part of my life, this musician part of my life is really important. And I would like to incorporate that into this channel. A few days ago, uh, YouTube changed their uh, monetization thresholds uh, to a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. I do have a, another YouTube channel, an older YouTube channel called, um, well it was called, uh, first it was called The Stylish Soprano and then it was called Hub Neat Life because I wanted to make it a vlog channel or something like that. Um, so I got that, the email notifying, my, notifying me of the monetization threshold changes to that, to that channel's email address. And at first I was like, oh, should I just resurrect that channel? I should, you know, I should start posting more on it so that I can keep monetizing it um, and make it the music channel. Um, but I have decided ultimately to pour the other part of myself that I'm passionate about into this and have it all be one world. I don't know what's going to happen to that channel. I'll probably just let it die. It was a fun experiment, but it's not really, it's, it's, Check it out if you're interested, but it just has like beauty content and like boring stuff on it. So if you don't know, um, I, as as well as being a professional organizer for much longer, um, I have been a musician and uh, I got my bachelor's in classical music performance. I got my master's in vocal performance and I do still currently sing around and sing a lot. So um, I wanted a chance to sort of put 
some of that content onto this channel as well. I sort of asked you guys in my last Q&A and it seemed to be well received. So I think that um, instead of incorporating it into all the videos, which I think is too much action because it's really not what this channel is about, um, I think, and I don't know if this is dumb or smart, <laughs> um, but I think I will just produce an extra video and publish it on the weekend. It's like your Saturday morning cartoons and it'll just be a dedicated music life vlog. It's a little bit of a selfish move because um, I need some way to hold myself accountable for things like practicing, learning repertoire, um, translating poems, um, auditioning, making email contacts with people. I just need a way to hold myself accountable so that I do those things to keep my career moving forward. Um, I do think that being a singer has some special emotional consequences and issues because your instrument is yourself, your whole body is your instrument. So there are a lot of emotions and feelings tied to um, getting rejected from auditions and um, feeling things that you're not good enough. I mean, every singer has these problems and I just want, I, there's part of me that wants to make other singers out there feel like they're not alone in dealing with some of these things. Anyway, I think I'm going to uh, try and finish turning over everything um, by the end of next week, and I hope to publish my first music video on Saturday. Um, next Saturday, not tomorrow. Um, and uh, they'll, the organizing videos and the cleaning videos will still be a regular thing. I am like, super obsessed with that and have like a list full of videos I'm going to be filming um, but uh, there'll be one more video on the channel a week uh, and uh, I just wanted to let you know so I am changing the name of the channel and the business to the organized soprano um, I think I will have to change all my socials as well um, which is a pain but you know it's fine uh, I hope you guys look forward to some of the new content. I hope it gives you either an eye into something different or you, something you can relate to. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please stay neat. Even though that tagline doesn't make sense anymore. Stay neat anyway. I love you guys. Bye.